welcome. I'm your host, Staditi Singh, and you're watching My India. India is expanding its diplomatic and business ties with the Middle East, focusing on trade, energy, defense, and technology. High-level visits and agreements have deepened connections with the key Gulf nations like the UAE and Saudi Arabia, driven by shared interests in energy security and investment, positioning India as a key partner in the region. India-UAE relations have deepened with strong economic, strategic and cultural ties, making the United Arab Emirates a key partner in India's Gulf strategy. The recent visit of Abu Dhabi's Crown Prince, Sheikh Khaled bin Mohammed to New Delhi, highlighted the alliance's significance, with key agreements in energy including oil, LNG and nuclear energy. Both leaders expressed satisfaction with the progress in their comprehensive strategic partnership and discussed expanding cooperation in critical minerals, green hydrogen, AI and advanced technologies. The six, seven agreements that were signed, uh, they were about the energy, about the new uh, supplies, long-term supplies of energy in the new cooperation and nuclear area, in strategic reserves. Those are very important uh, uh, developments that have taken place. Uh, in addition, uh, UAE has been investing, which is our third largest uh, trading partner all over the world. And there are thousands of Indian companies also operating from there. Large number of investments into India have come from there. There are also our partners in the I2U2, in the Gulf Cooperation Council. While uh, the Sheikh was visiting here, our external affairs minister was in Riyadh meeting his counterpart, the Emirati counterpart there also, along with other foreign ministers meeting. So GCC is the hub, economic hub of the Middle East. And India has a tremendous relationship with each one of them and most importantly with UAE. India's trade with the United Arab Emirates has grown by 7.1% per annum since the Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement came into effect on May 1, 2022. At the UAE India Business Forum in Mumbai, both nations signed key agreements to further boost trade and investment. Indian Commerce Minister Piyush Goyal expressed optimism about the partnership's future, highlighting its potential for substantial growth and emphasizing that strong bilateral ties pave a promising path for their economic and business relations. Together, this relationship standing on the pillars of innovation, investment and sustainable development holds an outstanding future going forward. India's relationship with the UAE and the broader Middle East has strengthened significantly through a strategic approach encompassing economic, diplomatic and cultural dimensions. This enhanced engagement was highlighted by the External Affairs Minister Dr. S. Chai Shankar's visit to Riyadh for the inaugural India Gulf Cooperation Council Joint Ministerial Meeting. This landmark event was the first meeting at the Foreign Minister's level between India and the GCC, with participation from the Foreign Ministers of all GCC member states. The relationship between India and the GCC is rooted in a rich tapestry of history, culture, and shared values. These bonds have grown stronger with time, evolving into a partnership that spans economics, energy, defense, technology, education, people-to-people -people ties, and beyond. As the Middle East experiences geopolitical shifts and evolving alliances, India's growing influence is becoming increasingly clear. India's strategic alignment with regional interests signals a future of strong, mutually beneficial relationships. This trend of deepening ties is driven by shared economic interests, diplomatic efforts, and cultural exchanges. India's role is crucial, not only in strengthening bilateral relations with individual Middle Eastern countries, but also in shaping broader regional dynamics.
Kashmir, often called heaven on earth, is one of the most stunning places globally with its vivid mountains, lush forests, green pastures and gushing rivers. From serene Shikara rides on Dal Lake to the breathtaking valleys of Gulmarg, Kashmir's natural beauty captivates visitors from India and beyond. Recently, tourism in Kashmir Valley has been on the rise, providing a significant boost to the region's economy. Let's embark on a journey through the enchanting landscapes of Kashmir. Tall mountains, sparkling lakes, and shikaras gliding on the water define the Kashmir Valley, where every view reveals a story of natural beauty. Dal Lake, one of the world's most beautiful lakes, comes alive each morning with a vibrant floating vegetable and fruit market. The freshness, greenery, and lively chatter of Shakara vendors offer a glimpse into Kashmir's unique life. While on a Shakara ride, tourists can also savor kawa, the traditional Kashmiri tea. This morning spectacle on Dal Lake attracts visitors from around the world. Visitors can shop for clothes, shawls, and local handicrafts at the floating market, offering a unique shopping experience. Here in the lake, I'm with a photographic tour with other friends. It's a very quiet and beautiful place. I like it because most of all is a real place. So we can see the real life about people, how they live, beautiful color, the flower, the vegetable. Uh, it's a very nice market, I like it. I'm very happy to be here in this amazing place, um, full of people, uh, full of uh, empathy, of uh, energy. Uh, I like uh, to photograph uh, this uh, kind of place. I love uh, to photograph of, uh, the flavor, the, um, the, the taste of the, the, the hair. And uh, I like fishermen also, and uh, this market. It's very, very quiet place, very, very beautiful uh, place. Dal Lake is also home to the world's only floating post office, where letters and postcards can be sent. This unique post office has been a popular attraction for locals and tourists alike for many years. And it is the only floating post office in the world. Uh, it was established around 1960 in that boat. And from that period it's functioning here. This is the normal postal functioning. Apart from that, it's a tourist attraction place also. Every one from every corner of India and foreign also, they came here to see this post office. Well, it can float also, so it's unique in its own feature. Dal Lake's houseboats are a symbol of Kashmiri culture, blending traditional architecture with modern comforts. Adorned with walnut carvings, they offer a serene retreat amid breathtaking landscapes. Srinagar is also home to Asia's largest tulip garden, which displays a vibrant array of tulips each year. Its stunning seasonal displays attract tourists from around the world. This is a miss work. We have seen it on YouTube videos. लेकिन मुझे लगता है यहाँ आके जब आप खुद एक्सपीरियंस करेंगे तो आप आपको लगेगा कि ये सच्ची में जन्नत है और मैं तो इस जगह का नाम कश्मीर से जन्नत कर देना चाहिए बहुत सुंदर तुलिप गार्डन है बहुत अच्छा लगा Another attraction in the Kashmir Valley is Gulmarg, renowned for its snow-covered slopes. This hill station is also breathtaking in summer and monsoon seasons, transforming into a lush paradise. The famous gondola ride provides a mesmerizing view of Kulmark's beauty. Enclosed by towering pine and deodar trees, Gulmarg epitomizes breathtaking beauty. During the monsoon, gentle rains cloak the valleys in lush green meadows that stretch endlessly. The natural splendor here feels like paradise 
prompting every visitor to capture its magic with their cameras. मैं पहली बार कश्मीर में आया हूँ बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है फैमिली के साथ आया हूँ तो मैंने मिस कर रहा हूँ कि मैंने इतनी लाइफ में पहले क्यों नहीं आया इधर क्योंकि सच्ची किसी ने कहा है कि ये धरती की जन्नत है स्वर्ग है कश्मीर और सब लोगों को यहाँ पे आना चाहिए अपनी फैमिली के साथ अपने दोस्तों रिश्तेदारों के साथ आना जरूर चाहिए So it's just wonderful. Everything you can see yourself. It's just like a picture. We are watching a movie in real. The main attraction is the gondola ride, one of the highest and longest cable cars in the world. It offers a thrilling experience, with the mountain's beauty becoming even more vivid as you ascend. Reaching the mountain's peak via the cable car. The view is so captivating; it feels as though you're embraced by nature. Tourists call this ride an unforgettable experience. To Gulmarg was good. We saw a lot of the greenery and the pine trees. Those were good. And yeah, the horse ride till the till this cable car that was also great. So we've come here for a trip, and we knew it was in snow, but we wanted to see the green part of Kashmir. and yeah we like the ride it was all good and the cable car was also a nice experience in winter gulmarg's beauty is heightened as snow blankets the tall mountains and trees the entire area transforms into a stunning white wonderland drawing tourists from afar for snowfall and adventure activities Now we bring you a heartwarming story from Surat Gujarat where a Muslim sculptor is winning hearts with his tiny Ganesh idols carved on pencil graphite and his detailed artwork of the Hindu god Ganesh stands as a powerful symbol of unity by crafting these small idols with such precision he showcases how art can unite diverse communities and foster mutual respect and harmony take a look Ganesh Chaturthi, a magnificent Hindu festival honoring Lord Ganesha, epitomizes devotion, cultural unity and vibrant festivity. Also known as Vinayak Chaturthi, this 10-day celebration goes beyond religious observance, deeply embedding itself in the cultural fabric of India and extending its influence far beyond. As the vibrant festival of Ganesh Chaturthi filled the streets of India, one unique artist added a special touch to the celebration. Salim Sheikh, a Muslim sculptor, achieved the remarkable feat of crafting three of the smallest Ganesh idols using the graphite from a single pencil. While the massive Ganesh idols in cities like Mumbai and Pune draw millions of devotees, Salim's intricate artwork stands as a symbol of communal unity and creativity that transcends religious boundaries. ये एक सद्भावना की प्रतिमा भी है और आस्था की है हमारे जो अपने देश में जो पूरे देश में पूजा जाता है वर्ल्ड में पूजा जाता है गणेश जी को तो मैंने यह सोचा था कि इसको मैं सबसे छोटे में छोटी पेंसिल की ग्रेफाइड में बनाऊं और इसमें मैंने बनाने में अभी तीन प्रतिमा बनाने में मैं कामयाब हो गया हूँ इसके अंदर मैंने एक चार एम की प्रतिमा बनाई है जो खड़े हैं गणेश जी और दूसरी एक सून वाले गणेश जी बनाए हैं और एक बैठी हुई है वो तीन एम की है Ganesh Chaturthi a major festival in India celebrates the birth of Lord Ganesh who represents wisdom prosperity and new beginnings Salim's tiny Ganesh idols bring a new dimension to interfaith cooperation He broke four pencils while making the tiniest Ganesh idols but he did not give up by celebrating Ganesh Chaturthi with his unique art he shows how shared cultural symbols can promote religious harmony इसको बनाने में लगभग नहीं तो साढ़े तीन महीने जैसा अब समय हो चुका है क्योंकि मुझे इसमें चार पेंसिल अभी तक टूट चुकी है जैसे एक बनाया था वो कामयाब हुआ था फिर दूसरी जब प्रतिमा बनाने गया तो टूट गया उस इस तरह से अभी चार बार चार पेंसिल टूट चुकी है और ये 
पांचवी पेंसिल है जिसके ऊपर मैं तीन प्रतिमा बनाने में अभी कामयाब हो चुका हूँ As Ganesh Chaturthi wrapped up with the emotion of idols the festival left a lasting impression of grandeur and unity Salim Steini sculptures though small in size convey a powerful message of unity and interfaith harmony Now let's delve into World in Focus featuring the latest global developments and events shaping our world The historical epic Shogun won Best Drama at the Emmy Awards, while Hacks took Best Comedy, surprising favorites like The Bear. Japanese actors Anna Sawai and Hiroyuki Sanada were honored with Best Actress and Best Actor awards for Shogun, and Frederick E. O. Toy won Best Director for his work on the series. Shogun also secured 14 awards at the Creative Arts Emmys for guest roles and technical achievements. Toy highlighted the importance of capturing the internal lives of characters, aiming to connect audiences with their inner struggles. Sanada, moved by his win, expressed disbelief and gratitude, reflecting on the significance of the achievement for Japanese actors and the series' historical impact. On September 9, Apple launched the AI-powered iPhone 16 series, competing with Huawei's new trifold phone. The iPhone 16 starts at $799, and the iPhone 16 Plus starts at $899. The iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max with titanium bodies, the faster A18 Pro chip, and advanced AI features are priced at $999. and $1199 respectively new ai features include better siri and improved camera recognition apple intelligence will debut in english in the us next month and expand to other languages in 2024 apple also introduced new watches with health features and airpods with hearing aid capabilities this release marks apple's significant step in integrating ai into its smartphones crucial for their revenue India's electronics market is rapidly expanding driven by rising demand make in india initiatives and increased foreign investments the country is focused on developing an indigenous semiconductor ecosystem with initiatives like the national electronics policy and a 10 billion dollar pli scheme boosting chip making efforts India's semiconductor and electronics sector is experiencing significant growth fueled by government policies aimed at enhancing domestic manufacturing and reducing imports. The semiconductor market, valued at 19 billion in 2023, is projected to reach 30 billion by 2025, marking a 58% increase. At Semicon India 2024, Prime Minister Narendra Modi reaffirmed the country's commitment to expanding its semiconductor infrastructure, highlighting that India contributes 20% of the world's talent in the industry. He outlined plans to develop a workforce of 85,000 skilled professionals, including technicians, engineers, and R&D experts in the coming years. The event attracted over 100 global CEOs, industry leaders, and experts. underscoring India's rising prominence in the global chip sector 21st century ke bharat mein the chips are never down aur sirf itna hi nahi hai aaj ka bharat duniya ko bharosa deta hai when The chips are down you can bet on India The government's focus on expanding the semiconductor industry is set to invigorate related sectors and significantly increase job opportunities This push will enhance the semiconductor ecosystem and stimulate growth in allied industries 
creating a broader impact on employment and economic development. We can see uh, lots of potential because and not in terms of uh, manufacturing, the employment, real employment will generate from the UP so that all the candidates, all the youth who are doing pursuing their B.Tech or uh, Masters in the Science, they can come and see the real, uh, we can say the real, what the, how the chip process is going to make. Globally, then it's mainly the global shortage of the semicon chips. So there are not en enough manufacturers, there are not enough companies worldwide. So India has a big opportunity in that space. Manufacturing is already happening with uh, the mobile phones and multiple other areas. It's a question of uh, giving the Philip, giving the right environment uh, for the industry, for MSMEs as well, uh, giving the right climate, both infrastructure, investment, government support, ease of doing business, and all that contributes to building the sector. Many foreign companies are optimistic about India's growing market and have established facilities for domestic production. We have been supplying goods into India now for, for over 20 years and as the market has grown uh, we have dis we decided it was time to invest in India and that is what we did in 2016 by buying this aerosol filling company and we are continue to invest the market has grown in the last eight years India is aiming to grow its electronic sector to 500 billion and create 6 million jobs by the end of the decade. Valued at 150 billion, the sector has progressed significantly, especially in mobile phone manufacturing, including 5G handsets. Transitioning from a major importer, India is now the world's second largest producer and exporter, with a goal of achieving 100% domestic electronic manufacturing, including chips. Petka painting from Jharkhand is a centuries-old tradition that blends mythology with the natural world. We explore this art form cherished by the Santhal tribe and other indigenous communities through scroll painting and storytelling and showcase how artists are modernizing it for today's art lovers. Pate car painting from Jharkhand is more than art. It's a window into the tribal soul of the region. Meet C.R. Hembram, a Santhal artist renowned for blending traditional and modern styles in his Pate car paintings. His work, celebrated in museums and galleries globally, captures tribal culture, societal issues, and the condition of women. जो मैं काम करता हूं सिर्फ महिला तो मेरा फोकस है ही उसके साथ-साथ पूरे सोसाइटी को लेकर मैं काम करता हूं जैसे सोसाइटी में जो प्रॉब्लम है या जो भी आर्ट एंड कल्चर है या जो कल्चर है जो डांस है जो पर्व त्योहार है वो सारा वो सारी चीजों को भी लेकर मैं चलता हूं और मैं कोशिश करता हूं कि कुछ नई चीजें इसके थ्रू जैसे फ्यूजन करता हूं तो ट्रेडिशनल को भी लेकर और कंटेम्पोररी दोनों को मिक्स करके जो मैं काम करता हूं तो युवाओं को लगता है कि सिर्फ ट्रेडिशन पर नहीं बल्कि कंटेम्पोररी पर भी काम करके जो है हम लोग दोनों को फ्यूजन करके सोसाइटी में ला सकते हैं तो मुझे लगता है मेरे काम को देख के बहुत सारे लोग बहुत सारे यंग जो हैं बहुत प्रभावित होते हैं आते भी हैं पूछते भी हैं सर हम लोग क्रिएशन कैसे करेंगे तो हम बोले देखो क्रिएशन करने के लिए बाहर से कोई चीज लेना नहीं पड़ता है अंदर से निकलता है जो अभिव्यक्ति है वही क्रिएशन है हेमब्रम्स यूज ऑफ बोल्ड एंड कंट्रास्टिंग कलर्स इन हिज आर्टवर्क्स ऑफन क्रिएट्स अ स्ट्राइकिंग विजुअल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ द स्ट्रगल बिटवीन गुड एंड इवल ये इसका शीर्षक मैंने दिया है ए समर नाइट इन द विलेज इसमें गांव कि गर्मी की रात को मैंने दर्शाया है जैसे महिलाएं हैं गांव में जैसे पर्दा लगा के वो नहाती हैं बाहर में है ना तो उस चीज़ को मैंने दर्शाया उसमें जैसे कुत्ते हैं और ये जो है इसको जो है ना महिलाएं जैसे गांव की महिलाएं बहुत खुश रहती है तो ये हरा भरा तो मैंने दर्शाया नहीं ये कलर मेरा एकदम एक दो कलर तीन कलर में मैंने बनाया है और ये पुरुष को वही दर्शाया है मैंने जो हमारे दिमाग में 
पुरुष के एक रूप जो है मुझे दिखता है तो ये वो दर्शाया है मैंने जो ये पीछे से इस तरह से देख रहा है और महिला नहा रही है इसमें इसका मानसिकता को मैंने खास कर दर्शाया है Amadubi village in Jharkhand's East Singbam district is often referred to as the artist village. It is renowned for its paid car artists who have passed down this ancient art form through generations. The stories depicted in their work often come from epics like the Ramayan, a Mahabharata tribal folklore and daily life. The artists use natural colors derived from plants and minerals adhering to the traditional methods of their ancestors. Patkar paintings jo hai ye ek aadi painting kala hai jo aaj se lekar ke dekhiye main to teen char peedhi ko jante hain jaise ki mere pitaji ko aur uske pitaji ko aisa hum dekhe hain to isse aage bhi इस कला थे तो मैं मैंने इतना जो कितना दिन पुराना हो सकता है दो सौ अढ़ाई सौ साल पुराना हो सकता है और इस कला में कम से कम चार पांच ज्ञान का आवश्यक होता है जैसा कि कहानी लिखना कलर बनाना और विभिन्न प्रकार जो प्राकृतिक रंगों द्वारा जो हम लोग इस्तेमाल करते हैं कला में चित्र में तो ये सब जानकारी होना चाहिए और पार्ट टू पार्ट स्क्रॉल पेंटिंग जो कहानी में बनता है ये ये कहानी खुद ही लिखना पड़ता है चित्रकार लोगों को और वो लिखने के बाद वो कला को बनाया जाता है The village is home to over 75 indigenous artists and a part of the rural tourism project initiated by the government to encourage sustainable tourism. Kishor, among many artists in Amadubi, is working towards both the empowerment of women and the preservation of their ancient traditions. His initiative is inspiring many to pursue the art form. Mahila log ye kam ko sikhne ke liye hamare paas isliye aa rahi hai ki ye jo parampara ka taat hai isko hum log jibit rakhenge, isko aage badhayenge. Isliye hamare gaon ka mahila log hamare saath jud rahi hai. साथ में भारत सरकार वस्त्र मंत्रालय द्वारा हमारे गांव में हर साल 30 दिन 50 दिन का एक ट्रेनिंग कराया जाता है उसमें सम्मिलित होने के लिए महिला लोग आगे बढ़कर भाग ले रही है ये जो पिटकर पेंटिंग है ये हम लोगों को सीखने में बहुत ही अच्छा लगा और फिर हम लोगों को अभी भी सीखने का मौका मिल रहा है जो हम लोग चाहते हैं सीखेंगे आगे भी Today. Many women in Amadubi are skilled painters. Thanks to the paid car art and government support, these women can earn a good income, manage their households, and help preserve their traditions. Today, artists are modernizing paid car to appeal to contemporary audiences, blending traditional techniques with modern things. And with that, we wrap up today's episode of My India, but we will see you next week at the same time. Till then, goodbye and take care.